Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are doing a little road trip and we are going up to Matlot. But the first stop here is the Valencia River. Now this is the first time we've been here. And they have a, a hike with Palance 868. So they are going straight up to this river here, but we are not in that. So we just stopped off to look at the river and well stay tuned to see what our day has in store the water is actually nice here but it is a bit dirty people left their trash their garbage all there so I, I i don't know why people do that so when you visit public areas please try to clean up the area before you leave now right so when visitors come by it will actually be a little clean. Scenery is very nice. So further up the river, I am seeing the water flowing down. It's looking so gorgeous. But you have to be careful walking here because look at these rocks. And I just find myself walking in a pool of water here. <laughs> oops, oops. Uh, so that's what happens when you want to be adventurous. So he is crossing over on a rock pile there like a little bridge but i am doing that too early to get your feet wet in this water too early Past go, we reach at this wonderful lookout here. I'm not sure what is the location of where we are at the moment, but you can't miss it.
right guys so at the same lookout we were exploring and look at what we have here a little mini waterfall so let me just make my way closer for you to guys to get a better look at this waterfall here So driving further up the road, another stop here is Shark River. Um, this is the famous river here that a lot of people come to read. So just take in. Now we are not stopping here to to um to bathe or anything. We just stop in to see the scenery and heading down further to Maclot. So right now I am standing on top of the bridge overlooking Shark River. So goodbye Shark River until next time. So we are currently heading back down to Matlot now and let's see how Matlot looks like because I have not been there first time so if you're a first timer let me know so we have reached Matlot and we took a detour road and this nice sculpture here you know this house is built with stone it just looks really nice Right guys, so we have reached Matlot and this is the river here. The sea is too rough so you cannot bathe in the sea. So this is the river here that we will be spending our little afternoon day. Well, it's not yet 12 o'clock, it's about quarter to 12. So just check out the facilities here, it looks very nice. And there is the Matlot Community School up on the hill there, that's the yellow school. Right up there. So we have some nice scenery here. So it was definitely worth it to, to take a drive to Matlot. And this is the end here, the road doesn't go any further down. So when you reach, well, Toko, you continue driving. Hill Pass, Grand River, Shark River, and then Matlot is the last little community village down here. And just take a drive, take a road trip down here. Now look at this tree here. It looks so nice. Matlot, you are really, really beautiful. You are really nice. And as you all can see, how clean the surrounding is. And look at the sign. Leave nothing but footprints. So please, don't be like Valencia River when we visited there the first time. Matlot is much cleaner. So, yeah, when you visit, take up your trash and work with your garbage bags and leave nothing but footprints look at how beautiful this era here is these vines falling from the tree making it feel like 
Oh, where is Tazon, guys? Is Tazon here? Matlat River, guys. So we have been exploring a little and I came across this tree. I'm not sure what the name is, if anyone knows the name of it. Please put it in the comments guys. But the whole trunk of the tree, it is decorated with pickles. Yeah. Look at that. Right guys, so we are leaving Matlat now and if you all look here, this is the end of the road, right? So that's it there and you take the road going up the hill to reach the river there. So just look for this blue landmark, take the road on the left and you will reach Matlat River guys. This is the man who has cooked and thing with the humidity of oh, one. So we are living in a rainy weather. The rain came out from nowhere. The sun was hot all of a sudden. And then it started to rain.
So the last stop here is by the chill zone where the snow cone man here. So we are getting a nice snow cone. You could also get all these different flavors here. He said the most famous one is guava. But today we are trying the passion fruit and some of the cheesecake. Yeah, the cheesecake. And those of you who want to be spontaneous, you could add some alcohol to it too. I saw he has vodka, punch in and white too. And to the back is a nice scenery of the beach. So be sure to check out the chill zone snow cone man when you are coming up Toko side. This is before Kumana going to Toko. But we are going back, so it's after Kumana. And on the other side of the road, we have CNS Minimax to get. We bought some balata, nutmeg, and simos. So be sure to check out CNS Minimax as well. We have the goodies here. Chill zone guys. Right guys, so we got our snow cone, we got our balata and sea moss and nutmeg from CNS Minimax and this is the end of my vlog here. So Matlot, I hope you guys enjoyed my vlog and see you all. Bye. Right guys, so I thought I ended this vlog here, but we stopped to have a little bite here. So my uncle, he busted down some curry duck and pilau and what else we had? Curry duck with pigeon peas and we had pilau, chicken pilau and then I had shrimp noodles because you guys know I don't eat any meat, right? So yeah, Uncle Wenz, how the food tasting? How do you say? Good? <laughs> so y'all see that? Watch that. Watch your plate. Watch your plates. It can't get better than that. So you must eat healthy too, right? You must have some greens on the side. Yeah. <laughs> and I am having snow cone from the snow cone man. So the sea is a bit rough today. I guess being that full moon was yesterday or day before. But the scenery, money cannot buy the scenery, guys. It's really beautiful. And the, ra the waves crashing on the shore. That sound. This is what the life should be. A busy, hectic week. Take the weekend. Go on a road trip. Explore Trinidad. See what beautiful places we have right here in Trinidad. And then, ah, yeah, my foot get wet. Tide is high.